Today we're going to be learning about square root. Oh, everybody line up at the door. Hey, no running. We need to go in a single file line. Leave your backpack, Luke. We don't have time. But it's already on my back. I said we don't have time! Now everybody, follow me. Uh, miss, do you think we can... Miss, I finished the work. The, the work. Oh my gosh, I'm calling 911. Hey, no phones in class. But he just passed out. Listen, class, we only have a few minutes left, so I'm going to come around and hand out tonight's homework. It's only three questions long, Luke. Oh, perfect. That won't take very long then. Luke, do you have any homework? It's getting close to bedtime. Yeah, but it won't take very long. I'll do it in a couple seconds. <sighs> I better go do my homework. Actually, it'll only take a couple minutes. I'll do it in the morning. <sighs> okay. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. What am I forgetting? Ketchup. No. Mom, we're out of ketchup. Really? Let me see. Why North Korea is the hardest country to escape. Since Kim Jong-un took power in North Korea, it's become harder and harder to cross the North Korean border. When his father was in charge, the number of people who crossed the border was higher because the border security was less tight. They could simply bribe the local border control and they would let them pass into China. But when Kim Jong-un realized this, he decided to tighten the security. And now the border patrol can shoot anyone that tries to cross the border. He also had an electric barbed wire fence installed across the border. There's lots of escape rooms, but they're all really dangerous. If anyone manages to reach China, they'll have to stay in hiding because if if they're found by the authorities, they'll be sent back to North Korea where they'll be accused of being spies. So instead they have to reach a country where they won't be deported, which is Thailand. When they arrive in Thailand, they must turn themselves in to the authorities to be transferred to that country. It can take them between two to six months to complete this escape, but the people who decide to do it prefer to take the risk rather than continue living in North Korea. The craziest things found by airport security. In an Amsterdam airport, 200 bags of tarantulas were found. In 2015, a child was found in a suitcase that belonged to a 19-year-old girl traveling from Morocco to Spain. A couple from India were arrested at the airport for smuggling small bars of pure gold that they glued to their feet. At Shanghai airport, they opened a suitcase that contained live snakes, and in total there was 121 of them. Two women were arrested at Liverpool airport for attempting to transport the body of a dead relative in a wheelchair. And finally, a tiger cub was found in the suitcase of a Thai woman traveling to Iran. She tried to make them think it was a stuffed animal because there were other stuffed animals in the suitcase. But in the end, the woman was arrested and the tiger was taken for special care. This man ordered pizza every day for 10 years until the employees noticed something was off. 
48 year old Kirk Alexander loves Domino Pizza so much that he orders it almost every single day. The general manager named Sarah said that he orders every day or every other day and all the employees know who he is. But one day the staff noticed that he hadn't ordered in a few days so they just figured he was on vacation. A few days later the manager looked at when his last order was and it was 11 days ago. At this point the manager knew something was off so she sent one of her employees to check on him. When he got to Kirk's house he noticed the lights were on so he knocked on the door but there is no answer. He decided to get out his phone and he called them several times but still there is no answer. At this point he knew something was off so he called 911 and explained the whole situation. When the paramedics got inside they found out that he had suffered from a stroke and they said if they were just one day later he may not still be alive. Things that only exist in Japan. They have square watermelons. Farmers use special containers to give them the shape but they're so expensive that people usually only get them for special occasions. In Japan there's other Kit Kat flavors like chili, sweet potato, wasabi, roasted corn, soy, watermelon or mango. In lots of buildings there's parking for umbrellas, which are similar to those of bicycles. In their traffic lights, they have a blue light instead of a green. There's a canned food restaurant chain. In some places, there are no number four. For example, some buildings don't have a fourth floor, and some stores don't sell items that come in fours. Their toilets are high tech. Some of the functions are a heated seat, spraying warm water, and even playing music. Their cabs have automatic doors for passengers. And finally, they have capsule hotels, which are rooms that only have a bed and a TV. 